Good morning, Wolf and Terry Homestead. Today we have a 12 gauge, but it, it's kind of funny right here. Let me get a good close up, but that's a cool looking one there. Uh huh. Look at that baby. She's right in, get up here in the sun. It and, is a Remington model 93. No, it's not a Remington. What is it? It's Stevens. Model 93 Cannon Breach. Cannon Breach. It uh -huh. says that on there, right? Yeah, right here it says Cannon Breach and right up here. It says oh, on top too? Yeah. Wow, that's cool. Got the cool look. Uh-huh. It, it was uh, made for was like Simmons Hardware. Simmons, Simmons Hardware? Yep. It's right here. Simmons Hardware and right on the buttstock. Simmons Hardware, and they were out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri? Yeah, St. Louis, Missouri, and it's on the bus stop, too. That was common back in the day, right? Yeah, it was very common. But also, we were very disappointed we couldn't shoot it. Not because of our trap, but that our trap thing is going perfectly. It was a disappointment because... So, when we shot it, okay, when we shot it, we shot it, and when uh, the recoil shot back and it opened up this. It opened up. So all we by thought, itself, huh? well, we can't do shooting part of it because it's too dangerous. Right. Because like, so if I was just shooting it in the video and it went boom and it had enough recoil to blow the thing, the uh, shell back to my eye, Ooh. that'd really, really not be good. Right. So we thought, let's just do a video talking on the history of okay. it. So we think the lock that's supposed to close the bolt. I know I don't close it all the way sometimes, but even with my dad, he closed it all the way and it still opened up. So the lock on it, we think the lock must be rusted. Worn. Worn, rusted off, broken off. Back in the day on the inexpensive guns like that. Yeah, were, that really does happen. The yeah. steel was pretty soft, right? Uh huh. With just uh, but otherwise it does have it a, does have a pretty nice stock on it, so. Yeah, it was you know budget grade uh, Stevens. Yeah. Uh, how many inch barrel? Thirty inch barrel. Thirty inch barrel. Yep. All right. So we don't have a lot more than that. No, uh, nope, not really. Otherwise, my T-shirt. It's kind of funny that double barrel uh, four ten you have that was. Uh, my grandpa's, it was a Shapley Arms Hardware out of St. Louis, Missouri, mm -hmm. and it was made by Steven. Yeah. So, uh. That one was a 410. That's Simmons Hardware and the Shapley's Hardware. Both out of St. Louis, right? Mm -hmm. If I didn't tell you, this is actually a, a 12 gauge. Probably mentioned that already, so. But it does have that neat look, doesn't it? Yeah. It kind of swells up right here. Up like that, like my 270s swirls up. You think that's why they call it cannon breach? Yes, because <laughs> cannon breach do kind of swirl up and go straight. Real thick, right there. Yeah, we were shooting a dove shot, lead dove shot. So we, 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 we I think we did try some of our Remington's uh -huh. Remington dove quail shot. Did you try some of these? Did you? Yeah, I was about, they're about uh, the same load, right? Yeah, about the same load. This one's in, oh, uh, what is it? Uh, an eight shot. One ounce of eight, one, right? One, one ounce of eight, and this is one ounce of seven and a half. Right. So. Okay. Well, what's your dog name? Rusty. That's Rusty? We don't have a shirt on him because we couldn't find his shirt. But Lily over here, she does have a shirt and it does say do dog food and ammo, so we did find a replacement. All so right. That's good. Okay. All righty. Well, what do you tell all your fans out there? And what do you think of the uh, Stevens Model 93 made for Simmons Hardware 12 gauge single shot shotgun? It's actually pretty good. The history is actually pretty behind it, uh, you would think, when you first take a look at it, like if you didn't know what gauge it was, when you first look down this end of the barrel, uh -huh. like just look at it, it's a 
Looks like a tin page, to be honest. <laughs> how big it does. Open it up, show them how thick that, that uh, chamber area is. Woo, man, that thing got a lot of meat on it, don't yeah. it? Yeah, I, I think I think it's thick enough where an 88 can't even penetrate yeah, through it. But that's old, that's old soft steel, isn't it? Back yeah. in the day, it ain't much count. No. Yeah. Yeah. Wear it down quick. Yeah, it does. All right, well, what do you tell all your fans out there? Thanks for watching, and remember, please like and subscribe. Need dog food and ammo. Yeah, goodbye.